Sakir Starmer admitted he will look into a report that claimed the Labour Party shadow cabinet has claimed thousands of pounds worth of expenses since the first national lockdown. During an interview on Steph's packed lunch, the Labour Party leader was quizzed on his party's reportedly staggering expenses. Sakir stated that he would look into the report but failed to confirm or deny whether the reported figures were correct. Steph McGovern said, what is this in the paper yesterday about expenses and your top team's expenses? There were some staggering figures about that and how much was being spent by some of your team. The Labour Party leader replied, I saw that and we are going to have a look at that. I have not had the chance to look at it yet but I did see it and so I will be looking at it. The Labour Party's expenses include first class travel, rent, TV licenses and even hand gel. According to the latest figures, the Labour Party's deputy leader Angela Rayner claimed £30,952 including £1,600 on 23 first class rail tickets between London and Manchester since March. Shadow Foreign Secretary Lisa Nandy claimed £23,083 on expenses, including £8,883 on non-office rent, while Shadow Business Minister Lucy Powell submitted an expenses claim for £25,206. Shadow Minister for Women and Equalities Gil Furness spent £19,506 while Jonathan Ashworth, the Shadow Health Secretary, Claimed £23,865. Sakir appears to have billed taxpayers £13,179. A Labour Party spokesman said, Many MPs book first class when they book in advance because it's cheaper. During his interview on Steph's pack lunch, the Labour Party leader admitted he struggles with home, schooling his children when it comes to maths. Ms McGovern asked, Given you mentioned maths and there are a lot of figures involved in your job, do you think as Prime Minister you would be alright if you are not that good at maths? Sakir replied, I didn't say I was not good at maths I said I was helping the kids with maths. What I am saying about homeschooling is it is a challenge for everyone. We are doing everything we can between now and 2024 to win that election.